Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to partition your C drive in Windows 8. From the Metro UI, just type computer. Make sure the apps is selected because if you have settings, it'll come up a bunch of icons that you don't need. Apps, and in the right, computer, right click, and then on the bottom here, select manage. And here, here it will take you to the uh, computer management. Now this is in case you don't have computer in your desktop. If you do, from your desktop, just right click and then click on manage. It'll take you to the same place, computer management. Here, click on disk management. And now locate your, dr your C drive. Right click and then click on shrink volume. This is exactly the same as Windows 7. Here, it'll tell you your available size to shrink. For this tutorial, I'm going to make a 10 gigs partition. So I'm going to select 10 gigs from the 34 gigs I have available and then click on shrink. Perfect. It has created the partition. It's unallocated. So I'm going to right click on the top here and then click on new volume next to the wizard next here I'm gonna use the full 10 gigs and you can change the drive letter in this case I'm gonna use the drive letter letter Z because D is usually for the CD-ROM and then click on next you can rename the volume if you like I'm gonna leave it default next and finish the wizard perfect my drive is healthy as a primary partition. Now if I go to my computer here, here is the partition that I have created. Now if you don't find any use for the partition, I'll show you how to remove or delete the uh, partition and regain your C drive back. Just right click and then click on delete volume. Click yes. And now to reclaim your space, right click on the C drive and then select extend volume. Click next to the wizard, make sure the drive is selected. Click on next and finish the wizard. That's it. Thank you for watching the video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.